Hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Conversation. Um, this is your Shiv. In this video today, we're gonna go through some news and updates this morning. And I have to say there are some a lot of not some a lot of interesting news that exist. Uh, so the first one is from yesterday. This was something that I was trying to cover on the live session yesterday. So the South Korea has finally released an official guidelines for cryptocurrency exchanges and its banks. And it's a very good news. Maybe other countries will just follow. I mean, we have all seen the FUD around South Korea. This would be a great example for all the other countries who are still confused and they don't know what to do. They can follow this. Uh, at the same time, I also want to cover the Coinbase ha is making about $2.7 million every day from the trading fee wow this is amazing so coinbase is become the number one company and this is their revenue every day i want to cover this one as well i also want to cover something called as crypto celebrities now you must have heard about crypto kitties but the crypto celebrities is the new game the crypto kitties was all about cats and crypto celebrities is all about celebrities so again this is what i'm gonna cover once again welcome to the channel and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and uh this is the channel we talk about cryptocurrencies bitcoin blockchain icos news developments market sentiments trying to keep you guys updated on the best news which are happening around the globe uh the market cap looks pretty positive so the finally market has started picking off because of so many positive news from around the globe one of the positive news that, news that I also wanted to share about the ranking system. So one of the company which is basically into ratings, right, which is called Waze Rating, Waze Cryptocurrency Rating or Waze Rating. And they, they rate uh, all the markets. They rate bankings, insurance companies, they rate everything else, stocks. And they have also come up with a rating for cryptocurrency, which might you might find it interesting. I want to talk about that as well. So yeah, a lot of positive news from around the globe and that has uh, definitely given the positive pricing on the cryptocurrency market cap. We see everything on the green. A lot of people do get confused and ask why everything is red, but there are only few people ask when there is still green. So something to think about guys, right? So $564 billion market cap, all going green. Let's see how far this goes. Now, okay, so this is very exciting exciting and interesting and encouraging at the same time. So South Korea has released its final guidelines for cryptocurrency exchange ban. Uh, banks, <laughs> exchanges and banks, a lot of people were talking about whether it's going to be banned or not. So that fight is out right now. So South Korea is not going to be the next China. They are smart people. They know what to do. They have come out with the regulations. They don't want to be the next China guys. This is exciting, isn't it? So uh, this is the panel and uh, uh, one of the things that I noticed about their in their guidelines is that they want to remove the anonymity. So they really want to know who you are, who is trading, and they also have some caps on how much you can trade, which I definitely want to cover in the next, in, in some other video, not in this video, otherwise this will become very big. So they have some guidelines in case you are interested, you can go through it in terms of amount of transactions that you can do uh in in the sense that you need to be uh, you need to reveal who you are even on the exchanges uh every trade needs to go with the kyc that, that's the kind of uh, guidelines and that they have come up with for the exchanges also uh you know you must have read this news about this insider the government insider who made a trade on uh, on based on insight news so they have come up with something specializing to uh, government officials also. So they said that South Korea Prime Minister improves, imposes crypto code of conduct on the government officials. So uh, all the government officials in South Korea, they have a special rules and guidelines that they have to follow. Uh, obviously, I think which uh, would also involve not trading on certain news, on some certain inside news, which is kind of unfair to them, right? Uh, but that's the kind of news that they have come up with. This was a recent survey done, which is which shows out of six six out of ten Americans have heard about Bitcoin, but then uh, this was another one. Only five percent own it. Now I'm not very surprised because I have come across a lot of people in my circle who know about Bitcoin, who heard about Bitcoin, but never have made their first transaction as yet for various reasons. It may be some maybe some because they don't understand, they know they know they don't believe in the technology. 
or it may be also because of the regulations and things like that so everybody have their own opinion obviously uh, in order to get ahead in your life you really need to be early adopter and that is why I always have repeatedly said, said this on this channel that uh, we guys you guys everyone who is involved in the cryptocurrency who have understand understood about the blockchain technology are really fortunate and blessed to be early in the range to be early in the game so that is always an advantage so five percent only own it there are a couple of points that I want to read out so more trust on Bitcoin than the government. This is something that every crypto enthusiast will tell you blindly that I trust more on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies than the government, than the officials, than the central authorities, which produces this fiat money, which is like a manipulated money, like a printing paper or whatever you call, right? So I, I do see these mid videos getting demonetized because of all these uh, statements. But, but these are these are the truth, right? So central money is all centralized manipulated whereas Bitcoin is a decentralized public ledger that attracts more uh, more trust than the central money and all the crypto enthusiasts would agree to this point so this is the recent survey I'm sure this number will gonna gonna go on increasing every year every month let me know what you, what do you think so this brings me to the ex exciting point once again the coinbase is making about 2.7 million dollar a day just for the trading fee guys so Imagine the kind of volume that they have. Now, I have to say that the Coinbase is that one first exchange which where most people have done their first Bitcoin transaction. For a simple reason, the Coinbase actually converts your fiat money into the first cryptocurrency that could be either Bitcoin, I guess, Bitcoin as of now, but they're also adding other cryptocurrencies also. So in that sense, Coinbase is one which is responsible for converting all these fiats into crypto and making all these crypto crypto enthusiasts not these people crypto enthusiasts from fiat enthusiasts right and i think they they deserve this reward because uh it's not easy today to handle a, a such a heavy transaction right we see that in india as well most of these exchanges are not able to cater to everyone so they they are they well deserve so if they are making this money a day i think they well deserve it because the kind of pressure that they take it, it just it's just amazing you know it's not that easy to uh, run an exchange as of today looking at the volume search unless and until you have the systems in place and still right so there were from some people who also wanted to buy buy coinbase shares uh, but I think coinbase is not very happy with that this is as a private company coinbase does not allow trading of stocks on secondary markets for a variety of reasons so there are investors who want to get into coinbase shares obviously because see they see coinbase being the next google or next facebook or next amazon or whatever you know uh this is something exciting that you will find so nasdaq has finally come out uh, with some uh, some 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 guidelines or some some rules or whatever you call bitcoin contract bitcoin futures now this is not surprising because Nasdaq has announced this earlier as well after CME future and CBOE futures they also said that they will be coming on the Bitcoin futures trading of course they don't want to be a me to me to product they want to do something uh, something unique with their Bitcoin futures trading but once again if the Nasdaq starts Bitcoin futures trading I do see a little bit of price in price increase in the Bitcoin uh, but what do you have to say? This is the another thing that I found out on news.bitcoin.com. So news.bitcoin.com, if you see, you have noticed, I'm covering most of the news from news.bitcoin.com. News uh, but they have this annoying, this thing. I mean, for the news, you really don't need this capture to fill in, right? Uh, but uh, but that's what they have. This is very annoying. If But I have to say that they are putting out some very, very exciting news on their portal, better than the Coin Telegraph. Look at this all bicycles now uh, let me quickly get through because I know there is an interesting news that I want to share with you over here on this page uh, yeah this one so 3,000 metric tons of wheat was recently traded for Bitcoin this was a this was a freight right uh, and this is the real use cases of Bitcoin a lot, a lot of people still ask that well what is Bitcoin used for I mean this is the real application of Bitcoin where you can when Bitcoin can be traded from between countries to countries for uh, freight services or for any kind of production services where you really don't have to depend on their 
uh, regional fiat currency. I mean, that's so annoying and that's so time consuming with the regulations in place. The cross currency exchanges is like cross currency transactions are really annoying. What if you could trade your bitcoins for from anyone across the globe for these kind of services, right? So Bitcoin was first used in the was used in the freight industry recently, and surprisingly, they, they do see a lot of such uses in the future also. I mean, every crypto crypto enthusiast would love to see such kind of transactions happening in future also. Right. So this is something which has been reported on news.bitcoin.com. I'm not sure how the regulators have taken it up. I mean, you're talking about 3000 metric tons of wheat for Bitcoin. I don't know how many Bitcoin will that be, but I'm sure it's a, it's a very good number. So this is an exciting use case of Bitcoin, which, which ideally was what Bitcoin should be used for. Right. Right. So if you are interested in cryptocurrency, if you are interested in grading or rating and all that, if you want to know which is the number one cryptocurrency or number two cryptocurrencies, uh, there is this company called Waze Rating, which which rates stocks, exchange traded funds, mutual funds, banks, credit unions, insurance companies. Now they have started rating cryptocurrencies. Uh, this was featured on CNBC. This is the guy here. He is the uh, I guess the CEO of this company, which is his name is uh, Mr. Wees, whatever, right? Mr. Wees, he has given a rating for, you can follow him on the Twitter as well. And you can also get yourself registered on their website over here, right? And they have rated the cryptocurrency trading and this is what they have rated on. So the world's first rating of Bitcoin, and Ethereum, Ripple, Dash and 70 other cryptocurrencies by a financial rating agency. This is out. In case you want to receive these kind of ratings, you can click here and subscribe. As per this rating, they have given Ethereum as B and Bitcoin was C, which a lot of people were not very happy with. Especially I saw a tweet from um, the creator of ADA, Charles Hoskins. He said that if you cannot, if you cannot see that, if you cannot rate Bitcoin as number one, then I don't think your rating has any validity or has any value. As you can see, Bitcoin received C grade and Ethereum, the second most valuable cryptocurrency, received B. Uh, so Ethereum is B, uh, Bitcoin is C, and I don't know what's A, but uh, let me see. So according to the company's press, none of the cryptocurrency listed in the markets obtained an A grade. Wow, this is interesting. So yeah, I mean, I would leave it for yourself. Go ahead and read this article. It's a very interesting article. You can also get yourself registered on Wee's rating in case you want to receive this kind of racing. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not really sure if these kind of racing really matter because these guys have been into traditional field. They have been rating the stock, bonds, banks. I'm not sure whether what will their capabilities when it comes to rating cryptocurrency. What do you have to say about this? I really don't have much trust on traditional uh, institutions when it comes to cryptocurrencies. It's a new field, it's a new era, it's a new set of people, it's a new technology and it needs a different rating mechanism. What do you have to say about that? So you must have heard about crypto kitties, but you've not heard about crypto celebrities. Instead of cats, you will see these pictures on the crypto celebrities now. So you will see these celebrities, Angelina or whatever, right? So uh, interestingly, this was another game which has been announced on the blockchain, Ethereum blockchain. You have a price for all these pictures, just like you had price for the crypto kitties. However, you will not be able to access. I was trying to access this website, which I could not load. Uh, I found out about them in this news only, but this is very exciting. So this is another kind of game called crypto celebrities on Ethereum blockchain. Hopefully they would be up maybe sometime in future and then you can go ahead and check this out but this is really really interesting guys right crypto celebrities wow that's all i have for you right now guys thank you so much for watching i hope uh, this was helpful yesterday's live was been deleted because there was a poor quality in the video and uh, we'll be going doing live today because i'll be making a couple of more videos on a couple of news and uh, things like that during the day Thank you so much for watching. Uh, join the Telegram channel. A lot of people, they're enthusiastic, enthusiastic, sharing a bunch of information which can help you. 
so do join i'll leave the link in the description below for the telegram channel as well thank you so much for watching and take care guys i'll see you in my next video thank you so much